Hi everyone, today we're talking about is GE General Electric a buy in 2019. Um, now it's obviously had a bit of a bad year. Um, well, it's had a it's had a terrible year. A lot of restructuring going on, a lot of dividend being cut, um, and yeah, it's not done well at all. Um, but over the last well, the last I think three days ago, um, uh, analysts from JP Morgan actually came out and said that GE is now turning the corner. Um, it's now trying to restructure and get in the right position. Um, and this was coming from the person that actually called out its downfall um, a little bit earlier from when it started to fall down. And it's been a bit of a falling eye for stock overall. Um, and it's just trying to find support and just find a bit of you know stability in there. And the guy that called that has come out and pretty much said, oh, it's starting to turn the corner now. It's starting to get into a good position. Um, going forward, he still thinks it's going to be in a bit of a bad position and it's still not going to do amazing. Um, but maybe it's just one that you um, just watch now and see how it starts um, turning the corner and see if it starts doing well. Um, and there's a, a lot less downside from, from now on, which is good news from GE's point of view because with the year they've had it's been terrible uh, and I'm going to go through and I'm going to see if the stocks are by. These videos are normally about five minutes long guys so uh, I try and make it a little bit quick um, the actual view, the overview of it. Um, so if you want a little bit more detail then let me know and I might do a complete deep, di deep dive onto the stock itself and um, this kind of from a brief point of view. Um, just a little bit of background as well if you're not watching my videos before. Basically I like to have a uh, value growth stock kind of uh, mindset. So what I call a value growth stock is a P that has um, a four P below thirty, um, and also the growth or the EPS growth and the revenue growth are above ten percent. I like to try get a stock that has both of them things going on as well as a good strong brand. Um, so go looking at actual GE, the kind of like profit, the number side of it, the financial side of it is not amazing. Um, it struggles to get a PE because of uh, how, how it's struggling to make money. I think the profit margins into GE is around about negative 4.5%. Um, the dividend has been absolutely cut massive. Um, it's a bit of a pathetic dividend. I think it just kind of like kept it there to kind of be like, oh yeah, we still pay a dividend. Um, but 0 0.01 dividend is um, <laughs> it's not amazing really. The stock's sitting around about $7, uh, $7 um, at the moment. Um, not doing amazing um, at all. Um, the EPS is set to go, and all these figures are taken from um, going forward now to 2019 to 2020. Um, and the estimated growth of the EPS side of it is 14%, but the EPS side of it, the, the P side of it, because of how uh, General Electric's doing at the moment, a little bit muffled numbers, and everyone's kind of like, don't know really. So I'd take them with a bit of a pinch of salt, really. Um, like the EPS side of it. And the revenue side of it, there's a lot of people like guessing on what revenue um, GE is going to do. There's quite a few people saying that they think, oh, they're going to turn it around a lot quicker than what they are doing. And they're going to have post a good, like, uh, I think the revenue from um, the, the this year going forward is expected to be, I think it's $119.5 billion. Um, and I think they're going to increase that to $120 billion. Um, is about what everyone's kind of saying, but there's people saying they could go all the way up to you know 128 billion. There's a few people saying that they could actually go under 120 billion and be making you know 194 billion ish. So there's a bit of variety on that kind of thing, um. But with the consensus, the revenue is going to grow about a 0.5 percent, um, going forward from 2019 to 2020, um. So um, kind of like my overview of General Electric and if I think I would buy it. Um, overall, I would not buy it just because I believe this. I a year ago I did say I think this stock stock's going to struggle, um. But like the JP Morgan analyst said, you know I believe that it's in a little bit of a turning point now, and we'll see how they do. Um, it's not in as bad a position as what it was, and I don't think the downside will be as bad. Um, overall, they will think the stock will do well, do bad. I don't think they'll be. I don't see this stock going above ten dollars. I don't see this stock going any less than you know six dollars five dollars around there i think it's kind of like flattening out a little bit more um i think it would be more i think this is one of the stocks that you potentially be saying like i'm going to leave this to 2020 and see what happens there before i buy it but it's not a stock that i would add it into your portfolio right now i normally say you know i like buying stocks at 52 week lows but not stocks at a 52 low 
52 week lows they still have quite a few problems going forward and um, so GA definitely has a few of them problems and um, so overall yeah um, it doesn't offer great dividend really and um, it's a good cheap price but um, the EP, EPS side of it you kind of got just got a discount on that the revenue side of it isn't great I don't really like any the companies that are hardly growing you know there's plenty of companies out there that are growing at a massive rate um, that you can pick up for a good price um, that will give you a better return I believe in 2019 um, so overall um, yeah I don't recommend GE as a buy um, I'd probably sell your shares if you had it I think there's other companies that you can make money in for sure um, you know you, you that you'd get a better return on a better dividend as well um, so that's my kind of opinion on GE for this year guys um, like I say I'd sell the stock um, maybe wait to 2020 um, see how they turn around this company at the moment um, but it's still, you know, it's in a better position, but not an amazing position right now. Um, and that's the video for today, guys, about uh, GE General Electric. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, give the video a like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.